Hey guys, here's a hot tip. 400 degrees Celsius, actually. Ah, oh, come on, that was a good joke. Ah, go flux yourself. So I can't say for every seller, but the one I bought from on Amazon, and I'll leave a link in the description, uh, came with the soldering iron itself. One tip that you can choose and a power supply. This power supply plugs into the wall. The one that they gave me is 19 volts, 2.1 amps. Now this soldering iron can take up to 24 volts, so the power supply supplied does not allow the soldering iron to reach its full potential. Inside the box we have our information pamphlet. In there we have the instructions and the hex key that we'll be using to install and uninstall the different tips and two extra screws just in case you lose the ones that's in the soldering iron. The version I bought has the B2 tip which is basically the standard conical tip that you see on most soldering irons. Here's a diagram of the B2 but a lot more popular is the BC2 which is basically the same thing except with a 45 degree tip. I personally am used to and prefer the pointier, just straight up conical tips. Not included with the soldering iron is this other tip that I got just because I want to get into small areas sometimes. So this one has a very precise tip and it's quite sharp. It could probably be used as a prison shank. One stab, flesh wound, okay? Two stabs, two. dead, okay? Ooh. Add an egg. So since I'm going to be soldering a lot, I got this heat resistant silicone map, which yep, has that fresh off the boat smell to it. Do you smell it? That smell. The kind of smelly smell. The smelly smell that smells. Smelly. That offshore durian plastic burning uh, coal-fired nuclear radiation dump scent. So to install the tips you're going to undo this set screw right here. Slide the tip in and then tighten that screw back up. Now something I noticed right away is that the power cable has this big choke here on it and that might be a problem for you when you're using the iron. Personally I don't really care that much though. Also, the cable is kind of thick. It just has the regular PVC insulation on it, so it's not super flexible like your standard soldering iron stations are. I actually have plans to make this completely portable and cordless using a power tool battery, so stay tuned for that. So when you first plug it in, it's gonna start up and it'll bring you to this screen. So when you press this button right here, that's how it starts heating up. If you press this back button right here, this is how you get into the settings. It tells you the voltage and the current temperature. And I'm just going to scroll through here and show you the different settings. Sleep time, idle time. These ones have to be configured with a computer. These can't be changed here. But things like temperature CT, which would change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit and left or right hand, that can be changed right here. And I am left handed, so I'm going to switch it to left hand. So now that it's in left handed mode, I'll go ahead and turn it on by pushing this button. If you had it in right handed mode, you'd be pushing it, the A button. And it will heat up to its preset temperature, which is 300 Celsius. And this is in real time. It did heat up that fast. So I've already tinned the tip, but just to show you, it does melt solder. Then to power it off, you just hold both buttons, and it goes back to this screen, and it's now cooling off. So as you can see, if you just lay it down on a table, the tip doesn't touch the table, so it's perfectly fine to use it without a stand, but I personally like to have a stand anyway, so I got this, which has a built-in tip cleaner. To change its startup settings, what you want to do is hold the A button and then plug it in through the micro USB to your computer, 
and that'll put it in its configuration mode where you can change its settings with a text file on the computer. I'd show you me doing that, but unfortunately all the micro USB cables I have on me are charging only and won't do the data. Now the soldering iron does have an accelerometer in it, so if you leave it just sitting on the table for more than I think 120 seconds is the default, it'll automatically drop the temperature down to 200 degrees Celsius, which saves the tip from oxidization. Okay, now you can see it's dropped the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius by itself, and then as soon as I pick it up, it heats right back up to the temperature I had set. So I just got a bunch of Arduino Nanos with the headers not soldered on yet, so let's go and solder them on. But before I do that, I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes, those are real Crocs. WHAT ARE THOSE?! They are my Crocs. As expected, the soldering iron had no problem soldering up the headers. Maneuverable and easy to handle, and it made the soldering job quite easy. Well, I think that wraps up this video. The TS100 is a great buy.